Hi, it's Dr. Costello with a possible new twist on COVID infection, that it may not only be spread by respiratory transmission, but through fecal oral or through the mouth like stomach flu is. We know that about 30% of people who get COVID infections have diarrhea or some other abdominal manifestation of the disease. We absolutely know that the virus is easily identified in the stool of sick patients and even asymptomatic persons. Uh, we know that the person will oftentimes shed virus in the stool after they have clinically recovered from the infection. We know that the virus enters the body via attaching to the ACE2 receptors in the lung. Now, normally the ACE2 receptors are associated with blood pressure regulation, uh, potassium uh, and sodium uh, retention in the body and the kidneys and heart, but these ACE2 receptors are also prevalent in the tongue, mouth, and in the throat. Now, whether or not you introduce COVID infection onto your tongue and the COVID is able to bind to the ACE receptors on your tongue or not, absolutely unknown. Uh, this is speculation, but it's a consideration. Uh, we know for a fact that stomach flu, very contagious, spreads through just regular fecal oral. So somebody has stomach flu, they shed uh, rotavirus as an example in their stool and you come in contact with that from a doorknob and it literally takes three viral particles in your mouth, in your stomach, to give you stomach flu. So it's an absolutely possible uh, consideration. What do you need to do different? Well, you still need to uh, do social distancing. You need to use soap and water and sanitizer like you have been. Avoid sick people when possible, uh, but be sure to wash your hands, wash your fruit before you eat them. And I talked before about the drive through potentially being disastrous, not only uh, from a respiratory standpoint, but the possibility that your worker who gave you your drive through food or your carry-out food was sick with the infection and got it on your food. Now, uh, hot food should be protected. By the time you get home, the heat of the food should kill the infection. I think it's reasonable to avoid getting a drink through the drive through because they're handing you a cold drink, which you then touch. They're handing you a straw, which then you open and put into your drink and then put into your mouth, and that's not going to inactivate the virus. So if you do carry out, if you do drive through, uh, use your hand sanitizer in the car. Do not eat your french fries in the car. Wait till you get home. Uh, unpackage your food, wash your hands, and then you can eat your food. But um, don't eat your french fries in the car. Uh, use your sanitizer before you get home and don't do cold beverages or cold salads as an example. Um, I'll say it again. This is speculation on my part, but this has been a wildly out of control virus and it is not at all playing by the rules. So all bets are off. Anything's possible. Dr. Costello, thanks.